Okay, good morning, y'all. So it is Monday morning and I am at the Bright Angel Lodge. That is where we meet to go for the mule ride. Um, I meet in the lobby and then they're going to shuttle bus us to where the mule barn is and then you'll be matched up with your mule. Um, it is 13 this morning and I'm really excited about this. So when you go on the mule ride, you have to wear, so if you have glasses, you have to have like a string or something to hold your glasses on. Um, well, not hold them on, but in case they fall off or you have those. Uh, so you have a string or just those sunglass holders or whatever. Um, also, you can wear, um, you can have binoculars or a cell phone holder around your neck or like a you know your cell phone or your neck but you, of course you got to have it on a string or whatever so about this nifty little thing because I, I, I didn't trust a, <laughs> a string holding my phone I didn't know how to tie it you know a netting type thing I just didn't trust a string with my phone so I bought this little thing here at the gift shop at the Bright Angel Lodge and um it's just it's gonna hold my phone so yeah so you gotta you have that and you cannot have um you can't take backpacks purses those sorts of things um they do give you this little nifty thing uh for for your water so you can't carry like i said you can't carry backpacks or anything like that so they give you this little thing here so this is the only little thing that you can carry for your water um since you can't carry a backpack or anything so so yeah so i'm going to go in and just kind of warm up by the the fire they have in the lobby of the lodge. So uh, I will see y'all at the mule barn. So I am done with the mule ride and it was, uh, it was amazing. I loved it. I loved every second of it. Um, my mule's name was Choya. Yeah, I believe. They say it was the name of a cactus. I have to look that up. Um, but it was about a three hour ride, uh, give or take just a few because uh, we had to shuttle from the lodge to the mule barn and then they went over safety tips you know um how to hold the reins pull left right that sort of deal um and explained to us um what we were going to be doing basically um but it was it It was, it was amazing. It was fun. It was, <laughs> I remember someone telling me you'll have, I think someone said you'd have a love hate relationship with that mule when it's over. I'm not going to say I had a love hate relationship. Let's say I had a love, maybe dislike sometime. <laughs> Cause he, he was, his personality was hilarious. Um, but you know, they got us to where we'd get to the, you know, close to the edge of the rim. So we rode the rim of the canyon. And, um, and so they had us, you know, in a line and we pulled around, you know, we kind of, we're supposed to steer our mules to the side. And, um, 
And so mine, he kind of got a little close. <laughs> He got a little closer to the edge. And I was like, oh, you know, he's a little close. She's like, oh, he's fine. Hey. He's fine. He knows not to go past the rocks. Choya didn't know that because Choya started like, you know, with, he started like messing with the rocks. And, and I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he, he's a little bit, he was a little bit, bit adventurous, I guess. I guess they paired me with the right one because he had a, he was very, um, he wanted to go. He had a drive and he just wanted to get going. And so like, uh, when one of the mules in front of me, um, <clears throat> was going slow, they had to motivate that mule and get that mule going. Well, <laughs> my mule, he took off galloping and I was like, whoa, man, <laughs> y'all should have seen me. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it was fine though I mean you just learned how to you know they've taught you how to uh you know how to keep your legs you know put up more you know try to keep your leg even um even pressure and all that kind of stuff um with your legs and put some weight on your legs as well so all the way you know you don't have come away with too sore of a booty um but yeah it was I loved it. He was, he was stubborn at times because I would try to get him to back up because he wouldn't, um, he liked to just like test the boundaries. <laughs> he was amazing. I loved it. But <clears throat> I'd pull the reins to pull him back and he would just, he would pull against me and he didn't want to back up. And I just, so we, we had to learn to get along. <laughs> we, we learned real quick how to get along. Um, or we were, we were learned real quick each other's how each other worked but anyway um I loved it he was amazing um he's actually one of the mules she said that packs stuff down into the canyon so they have a camps uh they have cabins down at the bottom of the canyon called Phantom Ranch and they use the mules to pack down um well guests for one but also they pack down the supplies groceries that sort of thing and she said he's actually uh, a few of the mules we were riding today are actually the mules that they used to do that so they they since they're not doing any rides down to Phantom Ranch right now because the the snow and the blizzard or whatever they called it a blizzard I don't know that came through uh they want them to keep up their exercise and keep them in shape so they use them today for us and um and it was, it was, it was, it was great. It was great. <laughs> I loved it. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so, um, the Grand Canyon was, I've been here, I figured out a while ago, I was here like nine days, um, eight days, eight or nine days, eight days. I don't, okay. Anyway, I think it was eight days. And, um, so I leave and it's been great. I've loved it. Um, it's been challenging, um, but that's okay. And so I leave tomorrow morning. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I'm headed yet still because I, I was originally going to head north, but with these winter storms coming through the next few weeks, I don't want to get stuck and stranded in a state um, because of some storms that stand between me and home possibly. So um, I'm not sure, you know, I have a few ideas, but... Um, none of them are concrete yet. I think in the morning, once I get up and start looking at the weather, start looking at the roads and, um, then I will probably make up my, my mind then, but that's okay. That's how we roll. Right. Um, so anyway, it's been great. And, um, I'm already, as you can see, I'm already in my vehicle. I'm already in the car because, um, it's already, it, the temperature is supposed to get to like two or three tonight. So I'm already in here trying to stay out of too much of the cold out there and try to just stay warm in here. And um, so what I do sometimes is um, right before I go to sleep, I will crank the car, get the heat going, just heat up the inside as much as I can for just a little bit, not for too long. And then I'll shut it off, get into the bag and that helps. I found out that that helps quite a bit. Um, I picked up those pointers actually from some, um, from online, from some people who said how they try to, you know, keep themselves warm right before they go to sleep. 
and of course I changed my I changed out of the pants I was in because they were they had snow all over them and it was wet and cold so I changed out of those into some dry pants and now I am just in my bag working on some videos for you guys and um, I'll be headed out tomorrow morning and I will see you guys on the road. Oh, <laughs>